Hello there and happy Monday. It's a happy meal plan planning Monday. I hope you all are well and I hope you had a wonderful, wonderful weekend. So I'm going to flip you around and I'm going to show you my meal plan and I have a couple cookbooks I want to share with you also. And we're, I'm also going to walk you through a little bit of my crock pot dinner that I'm making tonight. So with that said, I am going to flip the camera around and show you my meal plan. And uh, as always, I would love for you to share with me what you are making this week. It is the month of May. It is warm and lots of pasta salads, cool dinners, barbecues, and just beautiful nights out. It's just, it's gorgeous. I love this time of year. And so I'd like to know what, what's on your menu plan, some, some light springy dishes or, and I'll share with you mine. And I love me personally, I love potato salads and I love pasta salads and I love easy things during, during the winter and summer, I guess. I love, I love crock pot meals, comfort foods, throughout the year and you can make them like summery, wintry, seasonally, but I'm going to share with you some, um, some of my cookbooks, one that I've shared with you, I think a few times before, but it, it's such a great cookbook. And so I'm going to turn you around and I'm going to share with you my menu plan and I will see you in a second. I am making this tonight for dinner, the savory pork roast. It's on my menu plan, and it's a four to five pound pork loin roast, a large onion sliced, one bay leaf, two tablespoons of soy sauce, a tablespoon of garlic powder, and I'm gonna put it all in the crock pot. The thing that I'm changing up a bit is I'm not using a four to five pound pork roast. I'm using a bunch of pork chops that I have that are boneless so it'll work just just fine and so I'm going to show you that right now these are the pork chops in the sprayed crock pot I sprayed it gently and now I'm going to slice some onion up I'm going to use my mandolin and I love this mandolin so much more than I thought I would because it slices everything so nice and thin and it makes a lot of things a lot easier and let me show you this real quick I made these pickled onions and I used my mandolin to, to slice the the onions and they came out super thin so it worked out perfectly for my pickled onions and I used red onions and I put a jalapeno pepper in it with some garlic and I made a brine of uh, two cups white vinegar, two cups water, and I put a teaspoon of peppercorn in there, and they are fabulous. I th I'm thinking I'm going to add another red onion in here and just keep it going, but this was a really nice little, little side relish to my dinner. And it looks really pretty in the refrigerator too. <laughs> so now I'm gonna slice a white onion and I'm gonna put it in my crock pot. So you're supposed to use this and go back and forth, but while it's big, I just kind of do this. Also, quick tip. Put a towel underneath and that way it won't slide around. I knew that and I don't know why I didn't do it first. But I'm just sliding it back and forth. And when you get closer to the blade, then you can you can use this. And you can do this with everything, anything like cucumbers. When I make that cucumber salad, you do it with carrots. onions. 
So here are the onions. And I'm gonna take it and I'm going to dump it into, onto, onto, I'm going to shake it gently into my crock pot. And I'm going to spread them a little bit like that. And then it calls for, I'm gonna put the lid on to keep the heat in, it calls for, it calls for a bay leaf and some garlic powder. So let me get that and also some soy sauce. And I'm gonna use this bay leaf. And you can get them at any store. I got this one. I happen to get this one at Kroger. So I'm just gonna put one bay leaf in there. And don't forget when it's all done and cooking to kind of get the bay leaf out of there. It's just to give flavor, not to actually eat. So it's one bay leaf, two tablespoons of soy sauce, and one tablespoon of garlic powder. So let me get those, the soy sauce and the garlic powder, along with my bay leaf that I just showed you. I got the rest of the ingredients together. So what I'm going to do is this is a tablespoon of garlic powder, and I'm going to sprinkle it all over the top. And then I have two tablespoons of soy sauce. It's Kikkoman's. I'm gonna try and get that. I'm glad it's got garlic powder and not garlic salt because the soy sauce is super salty. I love soy sauce, it's so yummy. And then I'm going to put the bay leaf right on top. Isn't that pretty? It's gonna be so pretty when it cooks down. Okay, I'm gonna put it, the lid on and it says to cook on high for an hour and then lower the temp for six hours. So, my light up there is in the way. I turned the light off above so you could see it in its element and how nice it is. It's all in here and it's gonna cook all day and it's gonna make the house smell beautiful and this will be dinner. I'm gonna serve it with some white rice and a garden salad and some bread and i think that will make a very lovely monday night cozy spring dinner i know this doesn't have anything to do with the menu plan but i wanted to show you my little sign i made and i had put pink and white balloons all around it when i had it on my wall but it was for it was happy mother's day celebration of women you are beautiful and this is for all all women and we celebrated all the women in our life yesterday. So on to my weekly menu plan for the week of May 14th through the 20th. And I put 2023, just so I know what year. And so yesterday for Mother's Day dinner, we had roasted chicken and then barbecue cocktail, those little hot dogs. And those are always a favorite. It's so funny that, that those little those little hot dogs and barbecue sauce in the crock pot are always like the first to go. And then we made, oh, you know what? I'm gonna fix that. Okay, I fixed the potato dilemma. It was potato salad, which my stepmother-in-law made and she makes the best potato salad and ambrosia salad. And then we had green beans, a big, bowl of cucumber tomato salad that was delightful. Dinner rolls. I made the simple mozzarella pasta bake, which went very quick. It was very good and it was very simple to make. And then I had a relish tray and then the triple chocolate cake, which I only have a little bit left, but I made this and it's triple chocolate. And then I shaved chocolate on the top, as you can see. And I put like a white, white little flowers on the bottom, but it went pretty quick. And then this was like the butterfly vanilla cupcakes and they have little butterflies on it. And it was really sweet. So those, those were the desserts that have gone very quickly. And then tonight I will show you, we have savory pork chops steam, with steamed white rice. And I'm gonna serve it with roasted broccoli because I think broccoli goes well with rice, a garden salad, and some bread. And then 
I'm going to do a Mexican night and I'm going to do chicken quesadillas with all the accoutrements, you know, with the guacamole, the sour cream, the lettuce, the onion, you know, on a tortilla with lots of cheese, lots of chicken, jalapeno. And then I'm going to make this Swiss mushroom burger, double baked crazy crisp onion fries, steamed veggies and garden salad. And this is going to be in a cookbook I'm about to show you. And then this is in another cookbook I'm going to show you the simple beef noodles, steamed veggies, cheesy bread, and another cucumber and tomato salad. And that brings us to family fun night. And then Saturday will be easy. It'll be leftovers or takeout. And I'm also going to make some wraps with the tortilla with the cream cheese and the vegetables. I'm gonna make some bread. I'm not sure if I'm going to make yeast bread or my sourdough. And then I'm gonna make some more chocolate chip cookies. It's the Better Homes and Gardens Anyone Can Cook cookbook. Step-by-step -step recipes just for you. I've been cooking for a very long time, but you can always learn something new and I love this so much. It has that little number up at the top and it tells you your skill level. And it has Ask Mom. This is such a nice little cookbook. I love this. You could get this for somebody newly moving into their own place for the first time, someone that's learning how to cook. It makes a nice little gift. I love this book. So along with the simple beef and noodle recipe, it is a level one, so I should be able to make it. And then I saved some other recipes that I wanted to show you. This is a cheese cheese stuffed chicken and this is a level three and ask mom how do i shred cheese oh how precious and it tells you to go to page 71 and then we're going to go over here because i just love scalp potatoes or all gratin i should say that's what they're calling them cheesy garlic potato gratin and this is a level two and ask mom what are some potato varieties? See page 50. Oh, how fun. And so that is one of the cookbooks I want to share with you. Anyone Can Cook includes a bonus DVD. It's in the back of the book. I have not played that, that DVD. And then you've, you've all probably seen this book before. <clears throat> it's my Fix It and Forget It. This is where I got the savory pork roast. And then another fun book is my Rachel Ray book, and she she says it's her My Year in Meals, and it has calendars on it, and I bookmarked it so I could show you. So this is her May calendar, and I am going to make the Swiss mushroom and the double-baked crazy crisp oven fries, and I think that it'll be a fun dinner. My Rachel, my Rachel Ray. I got this at um, Secondhand in Charles, and that's a fun store if you've if you've never been. So these are the books, the the cookbooks that I recommend that I recommend for your cookbook shelf. This I love this one. This is just so simple and to the point. Fix it and forget it. Any page you can find something. This was a great gift too. So fix it and forget it, anyone can cook, Rachel Ray, here is my weekly menu plan. You can also find this on my blog, My Daily Life as a Wife and Mother, and I will see you next time, and I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful day. Stay blessed, and I'll see you again. Bye!